Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Blair. Hi, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。小妹儿。Can you believe now I'm in late October and still wearing the dress I used to wear in summer? So, 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 <laughs> the last second, you're wearing a dress. The next one, you're in your down coat. 真的是啊，一秒过冬。Okay, so how about today? We talk about the words and phrases we can use to describe this cold weather. Okay, sure. 那今天就和大家一起聊一聊天气冷了有哪些我们可以用到的使用表达。那我们刚刚说一秒过冬啊、嗯，其实就是大降温嘛。如果要表示这个降温呢 ，I will use this word, drop. D R O P drop 这个词本身意思就是坠落啊，掉落。那么气温降温就是温度突然降了下来了。Right. So how to use it in a sentence? For example, no one expected the sudden drop in temperature, or this is an extreme and unexpected drop in temperature. So no one is prepared. Ah, 那这里的 drop 是个名词。Yeah. A drop in temperature. 那 drop 也是可以做动词的。The temperature dropped considerably. Right. Other than this, there's another phrase we can use. That's a cold snap. Yeah, 是的啊，而且不得不说，这个 snap 真的太多变了。对 ，snap, s m a p， 最基本的意思就是指咔嚓一下那个断裂啊， mm. 可以表示打响指。一个人突然暴走，或者是指拍照。你看，意思很多啊， mm. 就感觉每个用法之间呢也没有太多的联系。<笑>对你用你的，我用我的。不过这几个意思都有那种很突然、很瞬间的感觉在里面。啊，所以这个 cold snap 也就是指突然降温了，也就是呢一阵寒潮。Exactly, it means a sudden short period of very cold weather. 比如说寒潮来了，就是突然降雪了。A cold snap has brought heavy snow. Yeah, but the phrase cold snap is an informal expression. A more formal way of saying that is cold spell. Right. Cold spell. 那这个是更正式一点的表达。Spell 就是拼写的那个 S P E L L。但是呢，做名词它也可以表示是一段时间。嗯。所以寒潮也可以说 cold spell。类似的，比如说这几天呢，突然特别热。Then that's a hot spell or a bright spell. Yeah, right. Okay. 那接下来呢，我们来看看口语中到底要说好冷啊，除了用 cold， 还有哪些地道表达啊 ？What can we say to replace is Cold or I'm so cold. Okay, the first word that we can use to replace cold is chilly. Yeah, chilly, chilly. 它的这种冷还是带那种寒意的，让人不舒服的那种阴冷啊。Too cold to be comfortable. Right. 不过 chilly 的动词啊 ，chill， 哎，又是让人特别舒服的。To chill out is a rather pleasant thing. That means to relax, to calm down. 意思是让人放松，让人冷静。嗯。不过现在这种晚秋或者是初冬的那种冷，我觉得有时候其实还挺舒服的。就虽然温度低吧，但是很干燥，很清新啊。嗯、so to describe this kind of weather, we can use this word, crisp. C R I S P. Yes, we just talked about this word before in a podcast about food and flavor. Yeah, 之前才讲食物啊，这个词儿就让我们流过口水，就是 crisp 那种脆脆的口感。Like the chips are crisp. So if you say the air is crisp, the morning is crisp. It's pleasantly dry and cold. 对，舒服的冷是 crisp， 不舒服的冷就是 chilly. Yeah. And there are more words. For example, freezing and bitter. 嗯，这两个词儿大家应该就更熟悉了啊。Freezing 就是冻成狗了，都要结冰了的那种冷。嗯 ，we can say is freezing or is freezing cold. Right. And the word 
bitter. Also a word we learned before. Yeah. 那这个单词也正好复习一下啊。除了表示味道很苦，也可以指天气呢特别冷 ，extremely cold and unpleasant. And there are two ways of using it. We can say it's bitter outside. Or is bitterly cold. 也可以用到这个副词 bitterly 放到 cold 前面来修饰 Yes. So here we've got chilly, crisp. It's freezing and it's bitter and a cold stab or a cold spell. Right. Okay. So how about next? Let's talk about some related idioms. Idioms.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do you have in mind? Mm, to leave somebody out in the cold, 在寒冷的天气里学这个表达是不是很贴切？<笑>因为这个表达冷的是心啊。对 ，to leave somebody out in the cold, meaning to refuse or neglect to include someone in an activity, group, or conversation. 把人留在寒冷里，就是冷落、疏远某人这个意思。Right. For example, as soon as she went to the table where the group was sitting, they stopped talking. She was left out in the cold. Yeah. Okay. Then how about two idioms about snow? Okay, I've got one. To be snowed in. To be snowed in. Snow 在这里是做个动词啊，后面加上一个最简单的介词 i n n. So what's the meaning of it? So it means you're trapped. You're unable to leave a place because of heavy snow. Because snow is too heavy, you're trapped. 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 So those who live in the north will find this expression very useful, <laughs> right? 然后还有一个习语啊，跟这个结构也是很像。我换了一个介词 ，that's to be snowed under, and this one has a different meaning. 对，那这个表达其实是说事情太多了，太忙了。对，事情多的像雪花一样啊，把你埋住了。Mm. To have so many things to do, especially work, that you start to feel overwhelmed, unable to deal with. So you can say, "I've been snowed under. There's so much work to be done." Yeah, or be snowed under with something. So I'm snowed under with work. Okay, so much for the snow. Okay. How about some ice? Any phrase about ice? Ice, ah,、uh, 和冰相关的习语 Hmm. Okay, this one. To be on thin ice. 这个也就是我们说的如履薄冰啊，已经处在一个非常危险的境地了。Right, on the verge of an unfavorable situation. For example, if you've been late to work a lot, you could lose your job. Then we can say you're on thin ice. Yeah. Okay. The last one. Put something on ice. Yes. So if you put a plan. An idea or something on ice. It means that thing is not being dealt with now. It has been postponed. 对，你把一个东西放到冰上，其实就是说呢，暂且搁置了，先不考虑啊。Mm. For example, for some reason, we have to put our plans on ice for the time being. So summer,、mm-hmm. this winter, how about we go skiing or ice skating? Ah,、uh, that sounds great, but I think I'll put that on ice. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I think that's all the phrases we have for today's podcast. 那今天呢，就跟大家聊了聊和冬天天气冷相关的表达。Yeah, 这个冬天大家可以把这些词都用起来啊。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于。So thank you so much for listening. This is Flair. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. Bye.